Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a first impressions time trial of the repackaged, I believe, and reformulated Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I got pretty lucky in the sense that my PR bag that they sent us home with actually contained a shade that I think is going to work for me. Uh, this is the shade Shell Ivory, and for reference, I'm about an NW NC20 in MAC. I say both NW and NC because I don't necessarily like either neutralizing warmth or neutralizing the cool tones. I like something in the middle. And because it is the winter time, I am more dry than I am oily, but I will occasionally get oil forehead and definitely around my nose depending on what kind of foundation I'm wearing. It's not always affected by foundation, but sometimes it is. You know, I thought this was a reformulation, but judging by the description on their website, I'm not seeing that. They say this is your skin only better. Our new high-performing skin perfecting foundation underwent major road testing under seven different photo lighting conditions to deliver flawless camera ready makeup every time. Specially made with a matte light diffusing complex to give your skin hashtag no filter perfection. So it's a high-performing breakthrough formula, most foundations claim this, <laughs> featuring a light adjusting complex to help prevent white cast in photos, and it was also tested under seven light conditions with and without the use of flash. Uh, one of the things they said at the event was that this underwent like the 700 selfie test. Um, <laughs> kind of made me laugh, our culture is so involved in taking photos of ourselves. Uh, that that's how we test our foundation now. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be applying this with my damp real techniques miracle complexion sponge I do not have any primer on my face I do not intend to powder because I don't like powder and we'll see how this wears throughout the day This does have a spatula style and I'm Just gonna dump it on the back of my hand and go in from there. Oh Thankfully, it's a match It has if anyone remembers the smell of the old Revlon uh, Color Stay foundation, the one that used to have the SPF of 6 in it, this has a bit of that smell, which uh, is making me a bit nostalgic because I actually really like the smell of that foundation. I mean, once I got used to it. Also, if you're Canadian, they're currently doing a promo on their website. Uh, it's free shipping to Canada for orders $40 and over until February 15th. And their website has a lot of exclusives that you can't necessarily get in stores. So if you're looking at something online, you can get free shipping to Canada, which is always a huge deal because our shipping rates are insane to get stuff sent here. Okay, first impressions on application. It's pretty good in certain areas. Around my nose and right under here, it's actually lifting a little bit. So I'm going to try applying a little bit more to that area to see if I can build it up. This is looking like a sheer medium coverage. Um, mostly I'm saying that because it's lifting here and I can see my freckles still. Not a problem to me, I just thought it's worth mentioning. So let's see if I add a little bit more. Just going a little bit gentler because I don't want the foundation pulling up. My nose is a bit of a problem area in general though. I just, stuff doesn't like to stick to it. <laughs> Okay, it layered pretty well. My burst blood vessel is mostly hidden, which is pretty good. So I'd say this is more of a medium coverage. I mean, I did build it up, so that added some layers for sure. I'm gonna put the rest of my face on and I'll be right back. All right, I've got the rest of my makeup on at this point. It is quite matte, actually. It's not overly luminescent. I added a highlight, obviously, but I like the finish of it. My only concern is that it feels a little bit tacky as if it hasn't really dried down yet, which makes me a little bit nervous for longevity throughout the rest of the day. It is currently 7.57 in the morning. I will be home around five o'clock tonight and we will see how it looks then. All right, it's now the end of the workday. It is currently 5.18 p.m. And I am so impressed with this foundation. It feels very, very similar to the Revlon Color Stay, and it performs very close to it as well. I am so shocked with just how matte my skin stayed for the better part of the day. I can see now I'm starting to go a little bit shiny. There's some sheen happening, but like, I wouldn't think twice about continuing to wear this into the evening if I had an event or something like that. It is absolutely fine. Nothing has broken apart on my face. Just gonna look a little bit closer. It's even adhered to my nose much better than any other foundation has ever done. I've mentioned in the past that my nose is <laughs> like Teflon. Nothing just ever sticks to it. So when I can get a foundation that'll stick to my nose, 
I'm impressed. Now, the one downside for this foundation for me is that because it's so similar to Revlon Colorstay, I get a very itchy face. Like, I'm just like, oh, I want to scratch at it. I know this is not a typical thing for people, and whenever I mention to people that I get an itchy face from foundation, they kind of look at me like I'm strange. So if you don't have itchiness problems with foundation, this is not an issue for you. If you do have that issue, like me, one thing you can do to combat that feeling is to use a primer. I particularly like the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizers. That really prevents as much as a, of a desire to just like keep scratching at my face. So I am pretty darn impressed. This foundation is listed as being $6, that's in US funds, on their website, and the longevity has held up so, so well. Also incredibly impressive for this range is that they have 20 shades of foundation. 20 shades of foundation is almost unreal for a foundation that is pretty inexpensive and drugstore. Some brands only put out six to 10 shades, but Wet n Wild is killing it by throwing out 20 shades right off the bat. One of the most impressive things about this foundation is that I find in general with other foundations that I get like crease lines. Like I raise my eyebrows a lot so you can see those wrinkles there, but because I do that, foundation collects in those lines. It hasn't done that with this foundation and that's almost unheard of for me. I am looking more closely in my mirror and I do see the foundation has caught a little bit around some dry patches on my face, but I didn't notice that when I was applying it this morning. So it's possible that just over time throughout the day, it collected a little bit. But I mean, guys, like I am really digging for a fault with this foundation because I'm so impressed with it. It hasn't crumbled anywhere. It hasn't cracked. I'm not like a mess. <laughs> this is really, really good stuff. So if it wasn't obvious already, I kind of think that the Photo Focus Foundation by Wet n Wild is really, really good. So definitely two thumbs up for me. If you've tried this foundation out, let me know what your thoughts were because I would love to hear that as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.